Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Oxford, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this puppy right here. This is the Anchor Series 5, um, actually the Anchor 553 Power Bank. And, you know, normally, you know, I got a couple of anchors, but anchors do cost a lot. They cost more than most other ones. So I said, wow, well, wow, this is only $39.99. Let me go ahead and snipe it because I think this normally goes for about $50 to $60 off sale. Um, so $39.99, I think it's a good price. Let's go ahead and get into the specs. But, you no, know, anchor is supposed to be, you know, the Lord. I mean, I said the Lord. Sorry, the world's um, number one brand. Everybody knows about anchor. People use use anchor but i think with the um with the you know the market getting kind of stiff and everybody coming out with them you know i've hopefully it will drop their prices because the, the, the anchors are a little, a little too expensive you know nowadays so let's go ahead and get to the um getting to the specs this is the anchor like i said five five three power bank on um, power core 30 watt so this is a 30 watt ten thousand milliamp hour battery um this is capacity triple uh, triple device fast charging equipped with a with two USB two two USB C ports and one USB A port um, with sim simultaneously charging with a maximum output of thirty watts. Pocket size and portables uh, safety at the forefront. Your safety is a Paramount Active Shield 2.0 um, safety system. Uh, monitors the temperature and ensure that your superior protection during charging and universal capabilities on uh, power and a wide range of devices, including smartphone, tablets, headphones, and more, making it your ultimate charging solution. Again, this right here will cost you $39.99. So before we get into the Eagle Live, you do me a favor, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm say it one more time. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this unboxing community. So without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Live view. We're in the Eagle Live view. This is how it looks. Regular boxing, regular stuff like that. So go ahead and get the Blue Beetle knife out. So that's all we think. There. All right, so let's pull this out. Okay, nothing in the box. Okay, so we do have, okay, okay, we have a, we have a carrying case. So we'll get all scratched up. We have our books. Don't throw these away. We'll get them out the way. We have a USB C to USB C. You know, you're not gonna, you know, with thirty something dollars, you're not going to, you know, get no good heavy cord. But it's long; it's pretty decent. So USB C. So if you're like me, you got about two hundred and eighty of those already laying around somewhere. Let's go ahead and get to that. We have that in the box too. So that's it for that. So we have the actual. There we go. So there, this is how it looks, guys. I like that. Sh I like that shimmer on there. Feels pretty good too. All right, so this is how it looks. So right here, you have the anchor logo on the top. You have two USB C, one US USB um, I mean USB A, and then on the back of it, on the other side of it, you have the on button and. And it does okay. It says it's already at forty-one percent. So this is pretty, pretty light, guys. Pretty small, ten thousand milliamp hours. So it's pretty decent. I like the way it looks. Let's go ahead and see if it fits inside the the box. Now we're gonna put it in we're gonna like this. Yeah, we're gonna put it sideways. I guess it goes like this. You get that up. So that's pretty good. Then you don't have to get scratched up. But like that. So yeah, okay, it's pretty good. Can I still see? Yep, we still see a little bit, so you can tell where it is. That's pretty good. All right, guys, let's go get get to the weighing of it, see how much it weighs, and then let's get to um, charging up and putting it through its paces. Guys, got it in the pouch. You no, know, should carry with the pouch and keep it nice and uh, you know, scratch free. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on there, and as you can see, it's two hundred and seventeen grams okay let's see if that pouch makes any difference i doubt it if it makes any difference 
All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and put it on there. Oh, 210 grand. That's ridiculous. Hold on, guys. Let me see this. So it adds about seven grams. Okay, I I didn't know. So it adds about seven grams. So it makes a slight difference. But without it, it's 210. And with it, it's 217. So you get about seven grams. Okay. That's weird. But all right, guys, we already know it's at 41%. What we're going to go here, we're going to go see how, you know, we're going to use the same wire that came with it. So put it in. As you see, it's in here. So it doesn't give, a, you know, which one is in and out. So I'm guessing it doesn't matter when it comes to the USB. We see it's charging. And it's going to tell you how many hours. It's going to take two hours and 49 minutes to charge. All right, let's, let's put it in the other one. So it doesn't make a difference. Both of them are um, inputs and outputs. So it doesn't make a difference which one you put in. I had to go get my 65 watt fast charging. There you go. If I'm not mistaken, the 65 watt. There it goes right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put this on. Take well, we're going to we're going to put this on right here for, for right now. All right. So what I want to do is see because it says when you put this in. It gives you what two hours and thirty-seven minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the fast charging. Samsung. So we're gonna see. It says two hours and fifty-two minutes. So how can it go? Okay, I guess this is giving more juice. Let's do that one more time. Take this out. We see it says. Let's do that one more time. Two hours and 35 minutes. So this is actually giving more fast charge than this is. Whew. So let's go ahead and do the 65 watt. Let it reset. Oh, let's see. All right. So it says three hours and 51 minutes. I don't understand that. That's 65 watt. Let's try that one more time. Three hours of 51. Like, okay. So let's do this. Let's try a different wire. Let's try this. This is rated for like 200, 200, um, 200, 200, uh, 240 watts. So let's go ahead and see how that do. I'm right, going to put in the Samsung fast charging right here. We're going to put it here. 251, so I'm guessing it's only going to take so much of a charge. So, 51, so let's try this. Put it in this one right here. So, 351, so I don't know what, what's going on with that, guys, to be honest with you. I mean, normal people ain't going to have this problem, but I'm trying to figure out why this thing is more fast and charged than anything. Let me see. So, 233. Okay. All right, guys. I'm trying to figure this one out. So, I got my other fast charging brick right here. I forgot which this one. I think this is 65 as well. I'm not. Yeah, 60 watt. So, let's go ahead and try this one. Take this one off, put this one on. And so let's see if we can get it charging faster. Again, this is 250 watt. So we'll go ahead and the cord is rated for 240. I'm sorry. Let's see. All right. So 350. I don't know, guys. For some reason, you know, these are fast, fast charging. And it's still acting like. You know, maybe this is just rated for a certain amount of water. It's just going to come in. But again, when you put it in the regular one, hold on, let's do that one more time so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't have to spend too much time on this. Three minutes on this. If you're looking at 353, so take it out, 353, and then we put it in here. It goes to uh, 
234. So guys, this is baffling me. I don't know why, you know, you know, I got two fast charging bricks here, 65, 65, 60 watt. And this, this one is still showing, you know, a better charge time than both of these. So I don't know if it's just, it, it can only handle so much or it registered this and it doesn't register that. I don't know, guys. But we're going to go ahead and um, get to charging some things up. Here we go. All right, what we're going to do? We got the wires right here. We're going to start off with the iPhone first. Don't ask me why, but because we have to check out the USB that I made right here. There we go. So hopefully it won't see my face or so let's charge up, right? Let's see. Okay, charging, charge. So it's charging up. You can see right there. We're gonna do it one more time. Sixty-six percent charge. So you can see it's charging. All right. So we're not gonna do all three of them together at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little baby one right here. Put it in this. This is the Pixel. 8 Pro Plus, I mean Pro. There we go. So there we go. You see it's charging right here. It says 59%. Okay. So we, have, we see it charging. So let's do that one more time. There you go. See it's charging. Do that one more time. Hold on, let me let me try to see if I can clear it first. All right, here let's do it one more time. You can see it is charged. All right, so we're gonna take this one again. We're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna break out the Samsung tablet, and we're gonna see how that looks. There you go. See it? It's coming up. There you go. So as you see, it's no, it's only one single lightning bolt. So that means it's, it's charging, but it's not a super fast charge. All right, so we got that going on. So let's see how it looks when it's charging something up. Anchor, so, so let's see something. Okay, let's see if it changed for this. So, because it might be telling us how long it takes something to charge up. All right, so let's, let's see. There we go. See the lightning bolt? So it's saying it's going to take two hours and 19 minutes to charge that up. Okay, I like that. So it is telling you what charge, how long the charge is. For this right here, let's see how long. So it says it's going to take oh, seven hours. Should take no seven hours. No, one hour and 15 minutes to, to fully charge this up. So that's pretty good. All right, I like that. A little, little something, something on there. And let's try it one more time with the, the tablet. All right, let's see. One hour and 15 minutes. So that, uh, no, it's one hour. One hour. To, well, it can't be one hour to charge up. So this might be how long the charge lasts. Because it says 94 sec, 94% on here. So it should take no one hour to get this from 94. So I'm thinking this is how long it has on here. So I'm sorry, guys. Let me try that one more time. Maybe, maybe it is. This is one hour, 13 minutes. So I don't, I, I got to look this up and see 
what that counter is for, because I think it's for a couple of different things. So before we get me looking it up, let's go ahead and get all this charged, see if we can charge everything at the same time. All right, so we're going to put this in, get that in. We got this wire right here. So let's see if everything comes up right here. So we see these two are up right now. So let me go ahead and put this on. All right. Body. I made a few mistakes I have to clear up, and I'm sorry. Now, the first mistake is that I was trying to charge up all three um, items or pieces of electronic. Come to find out that you have to charge it up to 100% to be able to charge three things at one time. And I think it's about what three things it is. Now, you know, I'm 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 to the extreme right now where you have two phones, have a tap. Okay, that's a little bit of stream. Um and so therefore, you know, when I was trying to charge up all three items, it was literally cutting off on me. So that's the first thing. So you have to make sure it's up to 100%. I think if it gets past a certain amount of percentage that it literally will not um charge up three might charge up two. It depends if you got um, less energy than 40 to 30, might only charge up one. So what am I saying? Keep your battery charged. Second thing is, if you double press this button on the side, you get that little green dot. Let me do it again. Now, when that little green dot is on, that's basically saying, hey, you have put it in trickle charge mode. So any device you know that's low power that needs to be charged, it's going to trickle charge the device. Um, so it's supposed to know, you know, and, you know, trickle charge. And this indicator, let me turn that off, is for the percentage that you have left. I thought it might have been like some other batteries I have showing you how long it will take you for the item to charge. No, this is actually the percentage of when you put in, a, put in to any devices or charge. I mean, I'm not saying it wrong, but... You, when you're charging up any device, it'll show you how long the batteries, you know, how long it's going to last for. So that's about it. So let's get to charging the devices, guys. Sorry. Um, again, this is why you should read and charge up the battery before you use it. So it is what it is. So let's, we're going to get back to all three charging at the same time. So we can see that taking place. So we're going to put in the iPhone okay. right here. And we're going to put in this one here. Blink up. Here. And we're going to do this one here. So we can get all three charging up. And then we can go ahead and get to the regular view. Give my final thoughts. So, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go with the iPhone first. You see. And there you go. It's charging, so it's charging up. I don't know why that is on there. Okay, we now we have the we have this. It's dead. I let this thing die for this part. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the black one. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it charges up. There you go. It's coming on. So that means it's charging up. All right, guys, you see, very low. I'm going to put it on. It's going to charge it up again. As you can see, charging rapidly. So I have both things, both items on. You see it's charging, and this is charging. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and plug up this baby here. And there you go. It's charging. And it says fast charging. I don't know why that's on there, but 
that's Flipboard, but as you can see, it's charging. So now you have all three um, things charging, sorry for hitting it at the same time, guys. So it does work. It just, this has to be charging. This has to be um, at 100% to get all three items charging at the same time. And as you see, it is charging up at the same time. So there you go. So this is only going to last for an hour and 17 minutes because it's charging up three items. So as I start, like if I take off the, if I take off the, I'm guessing if I take off the, let me see if I, so now I have an hour and 44 minutes until, you know, it's dead because you have two items that's charging up. So as you start taking off things, see three hours and 46 minutes, that's how, how many hours this has left to be able to charge up. Okay. So I don't know why I went back to 99, but no, six hours. I'm sorry, guys, six hours and 36 minutes. This lasts because this is now only charging the iPhone. So it has to reset. Sorry about that. It has to reset. And then you get the correct. So you have six hours left remaining on this battery before it has to be charged up after charging this up. And once you unplug that, it goes back to what it is, you know, and there it goes, 100%. So guys, that's it for this portion of the video. Yo, yo, I'm back with my final thoughts on the Anchor 533 or the Anchor 5 Series Power Bank. Hold on, guys. It's hot in here. Um, what do I think about it? I like it. Um, sorry for the mix-up. Um, you know, that should be a warning to all or a public service announcement that you need to charge up your battery before you use it. Normally when I get batteries, they come around about between 40 to 70%. So I thought I could you know, do a quick video, then charge up, but to charge up three three things at the same time, and, I, and, I'm, and it depends on what it is, you have to charge it all the way up. So, you know, I know what I did was extreme, two phones and a tablet. You know, most people, two phones are not gonna be going dead at the same time, unless you're multitasking like a mug. But other than that, if you do some earbuds or you do your, your, your beats and you do your phone, you're not going to have a problem. As long as there's enough um, charge on this battery to handle all three things, you'll be fine. So just make sure you keep your battery charged up. Um, I do like it. Um, I do like the fact that it has trickle charge on here. Um, you don't see a, a lot of, you know, things or battery banks that I say, you know, you know, you could change it to a low power mode so that you can, you know, for those devices that don't need that much power, just kind of charge it up slowly. And then that does, is able to fast charge um, items that need to, I mean, your, your electronics that need to be fast charged. So it does have that. Um, I do like the, I do like the, the, the weight. It's not that heavy, you know, going to school with something like this, you know, is more feasible to me than going to school or something like this or even having this to pull back because then you start getting the weight. The more, the bigger many amp hours and and the more you want to use about 65 watt, they can charge up your, your laptop. This is not going to be able to charge up your laptop, but it will be able to get you through the day. And say if you just need some, you know, you're in school or you're in college or you're, you're at work and you need, you know, just some juice, it'll get you there. So I do like that. Um, the thing I, I kind of know about anchors, anchor power, power banks that they're very expensive. You know, there's some things I'll be looking at anchor on and I'm like, dad, that's really expensive. Then you go to another brand for 10,000 milliamp hours. Um, you're looking at another brand that might cost 20, $19. So you are paying for the fact of being anchor and anchor is a good i got some anchor batteries um um power banks that are still i've had it for years and they're still working um they're still doing what they have to do now, i'm not gonna say that they have full capacity because i've had them so long but they're still working they're still charging up my devices how be it not fast charge but they still charge up my devices so i do like the fact that anchor has a name and it has that legacy behind it but don't like the price. $39, you can get something cheaper and probably 
you can get something for $39. You can get something probably 20, 20,000 milliamp hours or even higher than that um, with, you know, with three ports or four ports, you know, and be able to, you know, greater capacity. So, you know, that's there too. But other than that, I do like it. I, I do like the fact that it does come with a pouch. You put that pouch in. So, you know, you know people don't like their, their stuff looking all rough and rugged. If you don't care, you know, the, the pouch is there. I think that was a nice touch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, I'm going to get, give it a, I don't want to give it an A because I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to give it A because I shouldn't have had to dig and find out and test when I looked in the book, it never said, hey, in order to, um, I didn't see it in the book when I looked in there. Now, it could have been in there. Maybe I was in a, a blind rage as I was looking at it, or maybe not. But it didn't say, hey, you have, it has to be at least above a certain amount so you can charge up three items. You know, I think that should have been in there. So you went, oh, okay, I have to charge it up before I could charge three items. Maybe that's just me because I'm kind of slow and I didn't do it. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a B plus. It does everything a power bank is supposed to do. Now it got me kind of mad when I, when I tried to do three items and it didn't do the three items, but it was my fault because I didn't fully charge. But once I fully charged it, it handled three items. And then the three items I gave it to handle, I realized that's kind of overboard. Nobody's going to be doing two phones and a tablet. And if you're doing two phones and a tablet, you need something like this, or you need something like this to, to be able to do the two phones and a tablet, you know what I'm saying? To get all that charged up good and ready for you. So I'm going to give it a B plus guys. So do guys do me a favor, please like share and subscribe. I'm saying that one time, please like share and subscribe because we're over 1000 subscribers. I want to say thank you. 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 I want to thank my new and current current and new subscribers for still rocking with your boy. And this is your boy, the ghettoographer. AKA Pastor Ted, thank you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey, guys. We got some more unboxing coming soon. So do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm gonna say please like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this unboxing community. Um, I would love to hit 2K subscribers within two months. So hey, I know that's a lot, but you know, that's a goal I think I can that we can hit together. So again, I want to thank my new and current subscriber for still rocking with your boy. We're above 1K subs. And I want to thank you. And guys, we got some more unboxes coming soon. So I'll see you later. You have a good day.